So, yeah. There's no Nintendo. The Nintendo Direct happened. So, we have to make videos about other things. Until there are other weeks. But, yeah. Today, we'll be talking about the Little Mermaid. I did take down my video about World of Rings, Rings of Power. I didn't take that one down. Because I went a little too far with World of Rings, Rings of Power. I'm still not going to watch that show. Still have no interest in seeing it. And the Little Mermaid. Really. Okay, nobody cares. Of course, you know, the critics are saying, the media are saying how great the movie is. And how, how impactful this movie is. And they're going to try and... They're going to say how amazing this movie is. You know, how... You know... But... Wait, this movie has 1.5 million dislikes. Despite... Of course, this is not the most disliked trailer of all time. Doro Neo. Sadak 2. 14 million dislikes on a movie trailer. Of course, that's Bollywood. But for Hollywood, it might surpass Cuties, which is a disgusting, horrendous movie. It's going to pass that movie in dislikes. Okay? People are fed up with Disney's woke garbage. Okay? Will Mermaid was the movie that started the Disney Renaissance. And of course, the main character was a red hell, redhead. Which means there is some truth to this whole theory about the removal of redheads in Hollywood. Because this is pretty ridiculous that they replace a red hell character again. It's just so ridiculous. It's kind of pretty offensive if you are a redhead. I'm a redhead, of course. But yeah, you know. This is just very, like, why? The The biggest question is, why are we getting another... Why, the reason why we're getting more remakes is because of you guys, okay? Not me, I didn't watch the... I didn't, I didn't pay for the Lion King remake. I watched it on TV. Okay, you guys. Highest grossing movies of all time. 2022 worldwide. Okay. Oh, this is... A, oh, this is... I didn't do all movies. Okay. All time worldwide. Come on. Oh, yeah. Lion King remake. This is the Lion King remake. Eighth highest grossing movie of all time. This is why Disney keeps making these pointless and remakes that are drastically way worse. Okay. Aladdin. Further down here. 2019. Uh, here. Okay. Now, and, and, and also you have the Maleficent movies that, you know, people don't like, like that much either. But again, somehow Disney's able to attract all these people to the feeders. I wonder if they have it as a franchise, yo. I know, uh, yeah, Box House Mojo had it as a franchise, but yeah. They don't have a list of Disney live action reimaginings. But yeah. I was going to remake. Okay. Lion King. This is domestic But yeah. The three highest grossing remakes in the world are Disney. Okay. You guys are the reason why. Okay. Movies like the Little Mermaid remake exist. Okay. Movies like the Lion King remake exist. Because this. This is the problem. You guys keep watching these movies, and they're just going to continue making these movies. Okay? The God, these remakes are garbage. The only good one was, like, Jungle Book. And that's not even on. I don't think Jungle Book is even on here. Okay, the only good one was Jungle Book, and that was, you know, a fluke, because all the rest of them suck. Alice in the Wonderland made a billion dollars, of course. But, you know, they don't put Little Mermaid on here. But yeah, you guys are the problem. The reason why we keep seeing is unnecessary remakes. But now people are sick of them. People are done with these Disney remakes, okay? Pinocchio was completely review bond review bond by both the critics and fans. Okay. Was completely review bond by the critics and fans. Uh nobody watched it. Okay, nobody liked it. Okay. This is going to fail spectacularly. Okay. This is going to bomb spectacularly in China. This is going to bomb spectacularly in Asia. Which Mermaids are really popular in Asia. So this is really a missed opportunity. Because countries in Asia do not want to watch these types of movies. Okay. Let's go to the numbers again. And go to Black Panthers. 
goes. Okay. Black Panther was an okay movie. It wasn't really that amazing. Very overrated movie. Not as overrated as The Incredibles. But Japan was one of the worst performing markets. Okay. Actually, it performed relatively well in China. But if you compare it to uh, Captain Marvel, okay, it did way worse than Captain Marvel. It did way worse than Spider-Man Power From Home. It did way worse than the Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. It even did worse than, I think it even did worse than Ant-Man and the Wasp. And that movie wasn't that great. It did okay in South Korea. But Japan, it, did a, it didn't do that well in Japan. It did this as well as well as India and Indonesia. Okay. And then you go Captain Marvel. I hate Captain Marvel. I hate the movie. But Captain Marvel is probably one of the worst Marvel movies ever made. Okay. Okay, this is the international sales for Captain Marvel. Oh, I always saw the Chinese sales. China! Captain Marvel did better than Black Panther. I don't think it did better in Japan because it did well, it did better in, than Black Panther in Japan, too. And it did about the same in South Korea. Okay. But this is the, this is the Chinese growth for Captain Marvel versus Black Panther. Captain Marvel, despite being a way worse movie, made fifty million more dollars in China. Of course, Black Panther was released before Infinity War came out, so you could say that's the reason why. But even a movie like I can see Ant Man and the Wasps gross. We're gonna see Ant Man and the Wasps gross. That's the, even though it's the most forgettable movie in all of Marvel history. Even Ant-Man the Wasp did better than Black Panther. That's pretty hilarious. Ant-Man the Wasp did better than Black Panther in China. It did around the same in Japan. And actually, he did around the same in South Korea, like, like Captain Marvel. So that means Black Panther is just as valuable in these countries as Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's pretty hilarious. But that's just basically saying, that's basically just a comparison of the box office in those countries. Of course, you can include more recent movies. You know, I think not. I think you can include more recent movies. Of course, they don't have Chinese sales for, you know, the Doctor Strange because they didn't release that movie in China. As well, but Japan, it did better than Black Panther and South Korea. It did better than Black Panther. Of course, despite being a post endgame movie as well. Okay. And, you know, this is just really sewing Disney. You know, it's not going to do as well as in Asian markets as, you know, and, we're gonna compl- and I don't think it will even release in China at this point. Because China has basically just rejected Disney <laughs> at this point. Nobody, China doesn't even give a shit about Disney. At this point, okay. China says, don't make your movies woke. Okay, even China, China says, that we don't want woke movies in our country. And they say, you go you, screw yourself, China. We'll keep our movies woke. And yeah, no one wants them, basically. You know, no one want, no, they didn't allow anything. They didn't allow four of them funded in China. They didn't allow, you know, Doctor Strange in China. They didn't allow Black Panther or Saint C in China. Okay. They didn't allow anything made by Disney in China, which is pretty hard. This is not going to probably even play in China because the Chinese guys are not going to like it. The, because there's going to be some woke movies. There's going to probably be woke scenes in this movie as well. And also, they're going to say that this movie is going to undermine traditional love and marriage. I'm not really much of a person who cares about that stuff as much as other people, but this is kind of ridiculous. Because they don't want the princess to be the damsel in distress. It's a bad thing. Even though in the movie, she, is, she wants to be... She, that her fire motivation must not be love. It must be something else. Okay. And yeah. This is going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars at the box office. I was like, Buzz White, yo. Okay. 
And they're already, and they're already calling you racist if you don't like this movie. They're already calling you racist if you dislike the trailer. They're already calling you names. They're already saying if you dislike this movie, you're a hate speech racist. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. They also turned the Harry, Harry Bailey turns right in real way remake by AI. And then that person got banned off of Twitter and YouTube because, oh, we hate speech. <laughs> Because you can't, you, 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 you know, how dare you turn, change the character, the movie. Okay, you know, <laughs> no one's going to watch this movie. This movie's going to flop. It's going to bomb at the box office. Okay. This movie was a disaster waiting to happen, as we all know. And I think if you really want to watch it, and, and also this movie does, 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 does a disrespect to animation as a whole. Does like every other Disney remake. Because there's a turn of movie that was perfect animated. And we would need it with live action. Okay. You know, like with the Lion King remake and the Aladdin remake. And the Dumbo remake as well. You know, it just doesn't work. It's way worse. Okay, Pinocchio I think is the most recent example. Nobody liked that movie. Okay. And Disney's going to continue doing these. Until they don't make money. Okay, then we're making like every movie they've ever made in the past into live action. Okay, and also saying, Oh, but I got 104 million views, but also has 1.5 million that's like about the 400,000 likes. So, you know, you can take your win, Disney, with 104 million views. Okay, but 1.5 million that's like I think is much more worrying because, of course, Disney's gonna. Hear about people just like in the movie and just like in the trailer, and yeah, I think the 1.5 million dislikes <laughs> is much more worrying because people don't like this movie and no one's gonna go out to see it basically. Okay, and it's a passing 1.5 million <laughs> dislikes, <laughs> 1.5 million dislikes. That's pretty hilarious. I can, I'm gonna go see the dislikes right now. Okay, yeah, here you go. Yeah, I haven't. You have to go on sale and put and put the YouTube dislike button. So how many people currently dislike it? 1.7 million people dislike this movie. Also has a 2.08 out of 5 stars and a 27%. Okay, this is the dislike ratio for this movie. Of course, there are going to be people who are going to like bomb the video. But it, the damage is already done. Nobody likes this movie, essentially. Okay. You know, people like people complained about the Sonic movie, you know, when that first show came out and they said, okay, we'll change the design of the movie character and make it more like Sonic from Sonic. Okay, that's what happens when but this is not gonna listen to pe to the dislikes. This is gonna only double down because that's what they do. Okay. And they're gonna continue to lose more and more money at the box office. I will I'm not really too worried about this movie becoming a big hit because we all know Disney is a company that doesn't care about its fandom. Or it's fans. Disney only cares about profit, money, you know, pandering towards the woke crowd, pandering towards Twitter, you know, the Twitter woke crowd, the blue hairs. And yeah, that's basically for this video. Goodbye.